Hey guys, I'm Luis from Mediocre Geeks and today we're going to talk about 10 awesome websites we think everyone should know. Now some of them might be really popular and some of them you might just be hearing for the first time. But just stick around to the end of the video and you should find at least some of them really helpful to you. So coming up at number one in no particular order is 10minutemail.net Now this is a very useful site to use if you're just trying out a new website or a new service and you really don't want to use your primary email so as to prevent them from constantly sending you irrelevant email afterwards and what this website does is it gives you access to a mailbox for 10 minutes to use for those registrations Now you can keep refreshing your 10 minutes if you're not done with your registration and your time is about to get exhausted. At number two, we have down for everyone or just me.com. And this is a quite lengthy domain name, but it's actually easy to remember. This is a very useful tool when you want to figure out if a particular website is generally down or it's just inaccessible to you, which usually means the problem is maybe with your internet setup or something with your internet service provider, but at least you know the website is up. At number 3 we have alternative2.net Now this site comes in handy when you're looking for alternatives to popular services or applications Now bear in mind that it doesn't have every service or application on the planet But you can just search for the application or service that you want an alternative to And it will provide you with other options that it has At number 4 we have bandwidthplace.com Now this is just a reliable website to test your internet connection you could test your upload speeds and your download speeds to see what exactly you're getting from your internet service provider. At number 5, we have rebrand.ly. Now, if you're used to URL shortness in the past, this just takes it to the next level. Not only can you shorten URLs to an easy to remember form, but it also lets you monitor the amount of engagements the link has had, which means you can actually know the exact number of times people clicked on the link you sent them. At number 6, we have proxysites.com. Now, this works like a VPN, only you don't have to install any special application on any of your devices. You just visit proxysites.com and you select the location you want to appear as online and it puts the address you want to visit, and your connections to those websites will be anonymous. At number 7, we have virustotal.com. And this is a really helpful website when you're quite skeptical if a website or a particular file has viruses or not. Now, you could upload a file from any of your devices, or you could input the download link, or just input the website on the virustotal platform. And it will usually scan it with about 50 or more antivirus programs and give you a result. Now, with that result, you'll be able to determine if the file actually has viruses or is just a false positive. At number 8, we have apkmirror.com. Now, this is an Android store online where you can find and download all sorts of Android applications, even those you won't find on Play Store if they are unavailable in your country. At number 9, we have wheregoes.com. And this lets you track the full path of a particular link so as to see where it ends. And there are times where you just click on a particular link and it opens multiple tabs and redirects you to irrelevant websites. But with this tool, you can actually see what you get if you click on a particular link. That is to say, you can actually see the final destination of a link. And finally, at number 10, we have techguy.org. Now this website lets you get technical help for free by simply asking questions. There are a lot of professionals on this website and it allows for lengthy write-ups so you can actually um, fully explain what the problem is. So if you're having an issue with any of your devices, you can simply go on to techguy.org and ask the question and you definitely get a reply. So that's it for this video. If you have any cool websites you'd like to share, make sure you leave it down in the comment section. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and until next time.